Hello and thank you for joining the Social Talks. I'm Feng Zhengling. Today we will look at technology regulatory rules from the EU, which endanger Apple's interest. The European Union, after years of trying to get the 2.6 trillion dollar technology giant Apple to pay more taxes and open up its App Store, has assembled the regulatory clout to force changes. The result may lead to a more compromised iPhone experience, potentially affecting Apple sales. Apple recently said that it would allow music streaming services to connect app users with other ways of buying content. The sector-specific move is a step towards the EU's goal of getting Apple giant to open up its iPhone software more broadly. Apple has previously put forward some other changes, but long-time complaints like Spotify technology altered little. There are more deep cuts action that regulators are doing to counter Apple. The Europe's Digital Markets Act, which came into effect last month in March, forces big tech companies such as Apple to offer consumers more alternative outside services, waging war on monopoly. Brussels hence has a sounder legislative tool to combat Apple, along with the threat of massive fines for non-compliance. It's a more multifaceted approach than previous efforts, mainly relying on law and tax policies. The many regulatory actions could have an impact on iPhone sales, which represents a majority of 58% of Apple's revenues. Even a small decline to that profit source could noticeably harm Apple's interest. The attempt for Apple to drop its software fees can benefit consumers in the way that they will no longer need to pay high fees to Apple. But a subsequent question is the potential of malware and cyber threats if Apple loosens its grip on a safer software environment. In iPhones, there's still a lot in flux in regulatory making from actors such as EU and companies like Apple, and between the struggle of security and profit. This is all for today's news. Thank you for joining the Social Talks. I'm Feng Zhengling. See you next time.